Hey gamers and welcome back to the channel. Today we are putting Cyberpunk 2077 to the test on a $30 GPU to see just how far we can push it. We will be running the game at 1080p and experimenting with different performance boost options to find out which settings give the best results. By the end of this video, we will uncover the optimal setup for this budget card in Cyberpunk 2077. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support helps the channel grow and gets us closer to that all important monetization goal so we can keep testing even better hardware. Let's get into it, shall we? We kick things off with 1080p low native settings and honestly we were pretty impressed with what this $30 GPU could pull off. Frame rates fluctuated between 18 and 34 fps which might sound low but here's the kicker. There was no input lag or frame skipping whatsoever. The gameplay felt surprisingly smooth and we were able to dive right into the action without those annoying starters. The visuals, while not ultra sharp, still delivered a pretty solid experience. Night City looked gritty and alive, just as you'd hope. Overall, it was a fun and immersive experience, proving that even on a budget card, Cyberpunk 2077 can still shine. After testing 1080p native, we moved on to 1080p with FSR set to quality mode, and the performance was nearly the same. Frame rates ranged between 18 to 30 FPS, with most of the time spent around 20 FPS. Visually, FSR did a solid job keeping Night City looking sharp and vibrant, especially for a $30 GPU. The details held up well and the immersion was still there. Best of all, there was no input lag so the controls felt responsive throughout. We did notice a few frame skips here and there which briefly interrupted their smoothness, but they were rare enough that it didn't ruin the overall experience. While FSR quality mode didn't give us a huge performance boost over native, it managed good visuals without sacrificing much in the way of gameplay. When we switched to 1080p FSR balanced mode, the performance remained nearly the same as with native settings, with frame rates between 20 and 35 FPS. While the boost wasn't significant, it still delivered a smooth gameplay experience. The visuals held up nicely, maintaining good details and clarity throughout the test. We had responsive control and no major issues with performance. Even though the results were close to native, balanced mode offered a good mixture of visuals and smoothness, making it a reliable option for this $30 GPU. Switching to 1080p with FSR performance mode, we saw a noticeable improvement in performance with frame rates landing between 25 to 40 fps. The visuals were decent, nothing spectacular, but good enough to keep the experience enjoyable. More importantly, the gameplay stayed smooth and responsive throughout, with no signs of input lag or frame skipping. It offered a reliable balance between performance and visuals, making it a solid option for this budget GPU. If you are enjoying this breakdown so far, a like and a subscribe would go so far to help this channel reach its monetization goal so we can afford more graphic cards to test on. Thank you guys for watching. At 1080p with FSR Ultra Performance Mode, things didn't quite go as planned. As you can probably tell from my voice, I am a little bit bummed out by it. Frame rates hovered between 18 to 31 FPS, but the real issue were the sudden frame spikes and the frame skips and the pop up during gameplay. There was also some input lag, not major but enough to be noticeable and disrupt the flow. Unfortunately, this mode ended up being uh, let down, with the performance falling short of what we'd hoped for. So, yeah. Basically, ultra performance is it's not good for this card. In the end, Cyberpunk 2077 on a $30 GPU gave us a mixed bag of results. While 1080p native and FSR quality offered decent visuals and smooth gameplay, the higher end settings like ultra performance were a bit of a letdown. With frame spikes, skips, and input lag creeping in, the sweet spot seems to be somewhere between FSR balanced or quality or performance, where you can enjoy solid visuals without sacrificing too much in performance. It's clear this card can handle Cyberpunk, but if you are aiming for higher settings, is going to struggle. For budget gamers though, it's a playable and a fairly enjoyable experience if you don't mind the uh, the 18 frames. 